Well, what can we say about this chapter? In this chapter, we uh, Irina did indeed talk about her past with uh, Yochiro. Although the past seems to be much more... Um, what's that word? Shorter than I expected. Or maybe, maybe they... Because this... I almost seem to think that... Uh, this was at the, their meeting was happened only one time the day they met the threads of destiny was tangled that day as the manga's cover say of course Hisako is running around panicking on where Erina is well how can blame her Erina at first tries to have an orgy style but surprisingly she when Soma agrees and everything she's quiet so I guess, and she blushes. And one of the first times she blushes in Soma's presence. Well, no, she has blushed, and blushed before, but this is a little bit different. Apparently, during the past, Erina, when she Erina had her tongue, and before her education began, she apparently only ate dishes and immediately thought they were disgusting. So she was a brat even before she became. She was. Educated by Azami. But, um, but uh, it seems that she never really found a cooking that she liked. So she. So she, well, she was indeed a picky eater, so to speak. No chef could do it. Saiba could and that's not surprising one day she didn't have anything to eat because there was no visitors and she was uh, attracted to a certain smell that smell was apparently Sai Simon getting served food by none other than Yochiro and that food was so d delicious that actually Erina stomach growled and now that is something you can only call cute uh, the Taik Erina Stomach is growling. <laughs> so much for the dignified lady, huh? <laughs> and apparently, and apparently, the reason why Erina didn't have any tasting was because, um, say Simon, always chased them away. Say so Simon, uh, according to his own words, let Yochiro in Erina's life in order to her to get a new perspective from everything because this seemed to hint that she met Yochiro first af be before after the the horrible cooking sorry I'm a little spaced out in my brain and it's also pretty funny how Yochiro calls Saisamon Sama well, we all know this guy but it's also funny how he called Erina for Chan. I always suspected him to do that. So with uh, hearing her growling stomach, she serves them food. That as soon as Erina tastes, sun burns in her heart. And the beautiful uh, little tyke, uh, well, pictures herself being in a flower field. And it was the first time she, in her own words, had eaten fun cooking. And before Yochiro left, she, he said her, his name was Saiba. And judging from the way she, he was looking up, I guess to say that even then he had switched his name to Yukira. Saiba was just something he had. And then after that, six months from that day, father's education began and even though the feelings of uh, Jochiro's dish always was in her she still understands what her father is trying to achieve because well Erina herself tasted despair like cooking when she was young so in her own words the only thing she understands in her father's cooking is because he too believes that it's not uh, really good enough.
and she forgot what cooking really was. So in order to do just like that, uh, Soma takes out his handle and says, Ryuki, I can serve you a Yukira dish right now so you know what to taste. Naikiri Erina Sama. So for one night Yuki Hira will open for Erina, huh? Well, she's always been a little bit judgmental about Soma dishes, but that was before she knew what was going on. So are you telling me that so are you telling me now she's going to enjoy this dish? It's a bit despairing, I admit, to see that so many of this cooking was, according to her, not tasty enough. And that's... Because then, almost, when you read that, you can almost sympathize what Asami is gonna do. But Asami is too much of a control freak, so I don't believe in it. What do you think will happen? Will they plan something after this? Give me your thoughts if you have any. 